what, what do they call weather like this, right? It's a Chamber of Commerce day, right? Um, I remember golfing once when I worked at Kiowa Island Golf Resort, and uh, I, I only played once because it was very expensive, even though I worked there. Um, and played on the ocean course, and it was 72, sunny, and that's where I heard for the first time when it's weather like that, that's a chamber of commerce type of day. Because everybody's in great spirits, everybody's spending money and doing things in, in the community. So uh, I would say today is definitely one of those days and it's great to be the host for this because I was worried that it was gonna be raining and then I was like, oh, we're gonna be stuck inside, which is still beautiful. For those that have been here, how about a raise, raise your hand if you've been here for, for a while. Remember the old board? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Very different, right? Yes, it is. I know it's took it, it's it's taken uh, quite some time, almost 15 months, to get to where we are today, from when we closed last January in 2018. But um, I would like to say a deep gratitude to my staff that weathered the storm that long period of time. Um, there are UVA and our UVA Foundation, our owners, that have really helped us push through to get to where we are today because we're really proud of uh, the spaces, not just the meeting spaces and the patio that you're sitting on today, but also the restaurant and our guest rooms in the main inn. Our staff are, are just so excited to be able to serve guests again uh, here from where they were before, and uh, we look forward to doing that. I just wanted to say thank you to all of you in the community that support our what we do, whether it's through meetings, you come and dine, you're a sports club member, all of all of those those functions, we're just really excited to be a big part of the community. And if there's anything that our team can do, please do not hesitate to call. Um, I'm very very available, even though I'm not sometimes. I don't know how that goes, right? Um, but I promise I'll get back to you soon. Um, to my left, to some of your right, we've got the uh, the chef. Chef Dale Ford, raise your hand, Yay. Chef. It was his vision and our Executive Director of Food and Beverage, Sean Jernigan. Uh, Sean around, he was here, he's, he's running around, he's always working, um, that really put the life to what the Mill Room restaurant is uh, that you will be experiencing and what Elizabeth had really great things to say. Um, Dick's falling over there on the tree. Yeah. The big squirrel. Big squirrel. Big squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not on the menu. No, I, I, I heard you, Ken. I heard you. We, we're local, but we're not that local. Uh, but Chef Dale has done some really amazing things, and one of the things that uh, we'd love to share with you, if you haven't already uh, seen it or been a, been a part of it, is uh, one really cool, unique thing that we have is right behind the spa here is the Trout House. Um, it was built back in the 60s when the, the property was um, was con conceived by John Rogan, um, and they used to catch trout, they used to stock it and then catch it and then cook it, right? And I think the menu at the time says it was like a dollar or something. It was ridiculously cheap, right? You'll never see that ever. <laughs> um, but Chef had a vision for that space to turn it into a hydroponic uh, garden with some uh, of our friends at Babylon Micro Farms, and it's spectacular.